back to Rise and Shine, courtesy of Richie T. And as we promised you, we do have another set of in innovators uh, who are right here at the studios. And uh, they are uh, two other innovators who have won a grand award for the year 2012 for mobile application development. And a very good morning to Tamira and Amod. Good morning. So good morning. starting off, I would like to ask you, um, tell us about yourselves and what are you currently engaged in? Yes, good day, ma. We are finally a students at mm -hmm. Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology, mm -hmm. and we are following the B.Sc. Honors degree program in uh, Information Technology, specialized in software engineering. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this is the final semester of our uh, degree program, and uh, we are a little bit busy with our final res research project mm -hmm. as well. Right, Tamir, uh, you have produced a very interesting application, I can call it. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us a bit about the application and what the inspiration behind that application was? Yeah, as uh, Buddhima said, we won the open mobile competition uh, in Android c category. Uh, actually, we are very proud to say that. Um, and actually, our application is a mobile application. We produce a mobile version of the Omi game. Uh, it is a commonly played in Sri Lanka, and uh, since way back in history, and uh, it is still uh, co commonly played in Sri Lanka. And we did this project uh, for our one of the module that is the our in in that in our degree program. So, in fact, uh, we spent two months mm -hmm. for that uh, for this application, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, that's how it became. All right. So actually, uh, there are several uh, mobile application environments available, such as um, uh, the i operating system, Android, and Symbian, and so many others. So, what was the reason to select Android? Was it because of the trend, uh, or was there some other reason behind it? Well, Buddhima, that's a good question, actually. But it was not due to the trend, mm -hmm. as Tamir mentioned earlier. Uh, for the project of mobile application development mm -hmm. subject, we were it was required to develop two versions of the same mobile application mm -hmm. to run on both the Android and the iPhone platform. So, uh, so we were able to successfully complete the mobile Android version of our project, and we have published it to the uh, Google Play as well. Mm -hmm. And other than that, we have uh, completed the. Uh, iPhone version as well, mm -hmm. and other and the next reason is uh, to develop uh, mobile applications. We need a special set of uh, software package. Mm -hmm. We call them as uh, IDEs. Mm -hmm. the, and there are some more mobile application uh, environments, like you said, uh, iOS, uh, Windows Mobile, Symbian's likewise. The, but the I, IDEs required to develop applications for those uh, environments are not freely available. But in Android, Android is a Google product. They provide those all of the software resources for free of charge. And when come to the publishing, we need to have account from their marketplaces. Uh, each each operating system has their own marketplace, and uh, but the Android has the cheapest mm -hmm. compared to the other marketplaces. Uh, so and the. Android is Java and mm -hmm. it is open source. So those are the things that we have more concentrating on Android. So uh, Tamir, why don't you uh, tell us, it, it is a gaming application, yes, isn't it, yes. that you uh, used? Why did you get into a gaming application as opposed to or that area of research as opposed to, let's say, uh, you know, different, s there are so many areas of research you can get into. Why, why um, gaming application? Well, uh, we are upon uh, many detailed research on application which are available currently a hit in Google Play. So we recognize that most of the application application focus on uh, entertainment field. So right. accordingly, we came up with the conclusion that the that the ideal choice is gaming application uh -huh. uh, to attract the uh, Google Play. Uh -huh. So. We think uh, after additional that yeah. uh, we research on uh, many gaming application on the Google Play, mm -hmm. and we recognize uh, there is many gaming application, and gaming application is the most hit application in the Google Play, 
and the Omi game is the most popular game uh, played anywhere. Yeah. So we think we thought that uh, ideal application is uh, Omi game to attract the Google Play. All right. So actually, uh, the award that you've received uh, for the uh, grand competition that was held for the mobile application development is right here in front of us. So I would like to ask Amod uh, to explain as to how uh, the demonstration can be done, as to how uh, the whole process works in your gaming application. Actually, Buddhim, I think before the demonstration, it's better to tell how to download this game. Mm -hmm. So you can download this game to any kind of uh, Android device mm -hmm. from the Google Play mm -hmm. and there actually there are two versions of our game one is for Sinhala language and the other one is for the English language okay, okay so let's start the de demonstration All I think right. uh, when you start the game after a splash screen the main menu will come mm -hmm. so in the main menu there are three lines so you can by touching the new game line you can start a new game mm -hmm. uh, and when the game begins, the chance to uh, select trumps. Mm -hmm. The selected trump will be displayed on the top corner of your screen. Mm -hmm. And um, you can see all the my cards are not in order. So I can arrange my cards by uh, sliding that arrange slide left to right. Mm -hmm. And the cards will automatically arrange. And uh, I can play any card by t touching on the card that I want to play. And the other three players will uh, play their cards after that and the, and the uh, winner of that trick will play next in the first and uh, as in the real game you get the chance to look at the um, cards of the last trick mm -hmm. and decide on what card to play next uh, if I m you can uh, play like that uh, and if I move on to the uh, last last round that means the final card it after playing the final card, it will prompt the result of the whole round. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, the, it will prompt uh, the position of our team and the number of tokens won mm -hmm. by each team. Likewise, by pressing the continue button, you can continue on game. And if you can remember last round, I got the chance to select trumps. So as in the real game, you will get the you will get the chance to deal cards by pressing deal button you can deal the deal cards and continue on playing uh, like that you uh, like that the first team to win 10 to tokens will be the winner of this game all right with that i would like to ask tamira so how have you incorporated artificial intelligence to this project yeah buddhima uh, as i mentioned uh, other three players are artificial intelligence, that means AI players. So there is an algorithm that uh, all the artificial intelligent players access that algorithm. So this algorithm consider the trumps and the cards that other players selected. So after that, that algorithm generate the correct and very suitable card for uh, that step. Uh, that's how uh, alg alg that algorithm works. And I want to important thing I want to mention that is uh, when uh, when we doing this when we was do doing this uh, there is no any um, resources we found so we start our we start to do our application from the zero position. Now. Um there's obviously more for us to talk about, but unfortunately we are running out of time and uh, we would like to thank you very, very much for joining us uh, on the show and sharing your um, you know, knowledge and uh, all the future inventions and um, innovations that you've come up with. Um, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning. And uh, do join us again, same place, uh, same time tomorrow. Uh, and with that, we'd like to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you.